Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by. It's Low for Low Knows, always here to help teach and inspire you through audio, video, and tech. Make sure you hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out on any other future videos just like this one. Okay, so today we are talking about automation within Vegas Pro. So let's fire up Vegas Pro and let's get to it. So there's a lot of cool ways to manipulate audio within Vegas Pro, and I think this is probably one of the cooler ones. And this is, like I said before, the automation tool. All right, so we're gonna go right here to this little hamburger button. We're gonna go to more, and we're gonna see right here where it says automation settings. And we have automation right and automation, automation right touch and automation right latch. Two different ways to do some to do automation within Vegas Pro. Now, as of right now, these things are not activated. So you have to go right here to activate automation controls. This will turn on our automation. Now, what are we going to do here with automation? Well, a lot of times if you're listening to a piece of audio and you want it to match your video as far as like maybe the mood or maybe like the, the way the volume comes in and out with going with the story of the video, the automation will do this automatically. It'll like you you write it down the first time and then it'll play back the exact way that you that you did manipulating the uh, the sliders or the faders during that time. It sounds like a bunch of mumbo jumbo right now, but it's going to make sense when I show you right now. All right, so as you can see right here, when I actually turn activate automation on, our controls for our volume and our pan, they turn pink. It is in automation right mode right now. So now when I play the music, we now have control of the volume uh, and automate it for the future. So check this out. Okay, so as it's playing, I'm gonna bring this down and we'll bring the volume down, we already know that. And you can see right here at the bottom, we've got these keyframes popping up right now, showing that it's actually, the volume has actually been dropped and we're animating the volume of the, of the audio. So I'll let go and it goes right back to the center. I can actually go the other way. It gets louder and then it drops back down while I just let go, we'll go back again. So basically get nothing. We can see that the animation, the keyframes is bringing the volume all the way down. I let go, it goes right back. So we've got the keyframes right here. It shows everything that we've created. And I can just go back to the beginning and it does everything. And actually take a look at the slider. Oh my God, there's a ghost. All right, so you get the idea. That's automation in a nutshell. Now, you're probably asking me, you know, Lo, that's pretty cool and all, but moving the slider does not look cool, does not feel cool. Like, I want to feel like I am in control. I want a nice little setup. All right, I got you. No problem. Let's go to View. We're going to go to Windows, and we're going to look for, where are you? Our Mixing Console. This is going to bring up a lot cooler setting for us to work with. We can open this up a bit. We can zoom in. Just a little more, let's, let's go all the way. All right, and here we go, this is audio number one. This is our track one, track one, just like this here. Okay, and you can see we still have our touch. I'm gonna go to automation, you see how it's on touch right now and latch? We have these same options right here, touch and latch. And we can do the same thing from this dialog window by just bringing this up and down. You guys see it moving right there. So let's jump to this position and we'll play it again. Grab the slider and just bring it down. Let go of it, it'll come right back up. Now, we're using touch. Let's see what latch is all about. Latch will actually stay, it will keep the fader where you at where you left it. It's not gonna bounce back to Unity. So let's move forward. Again. Press play. And let's bring it down. And it'll stay right there. And let's just say we're, we're, there's something in our video where something is about to get exciting. We want the video to slowly go, we want the audio to slowly climb up. We'll just drag this fader slowly going along with the video. And we have extra minute control over this. And then we can bring it right back down. And just like that. So that's latch. That is our touch our touch and latch option option and once you're done with that you can go and turn it off so we're not manipulating that actually i just i just over i skipped something right now as you can see right now like i said before both our volume and our pan are affected 
let's mess around with the pan. We can set everything to the left channel. You can see the keyframes happening on the top right here. You can slide over to the right. So that becomes super useful if let's say you, say you had like a sound effect such as like a car passing by, a plane passing by, or someone running, or something that would you that you would normally want to have the effect from going from the left channel to the right channel or the right channel or vice versa. Or if maybe you want to do some kind of like little stutter like do 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 do, you could do that like by yourself. So this so this is not the way to manipulate audio, but it's just another way, a, another creative way to manipulate the audio within Vegas Pro. I really hope it help you out, guys. Just remember, take what I've given you today and apply it to your own projects, okay? You're not gonna get better, you're not gonna really get a great understanding just by watching this video. You gotta apply it to your products, so go, not to your products, your projects. So if you want this video up while you're doing your stuff just to have sort of like a refresher, you can do that. But make sure, guys, if you wanna really get comfortable within your editing, editing environments, practice practice what I'm showing you. All right, guys. Okay. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. As always, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about doing automation within Vegas Pro, or if you have any questions about anything else within Vegas Pro. Also, hit me up in social media, Low Nose Sort Of, and also join the most awesome community in the world, the Low Nose community on Discord, Low Nose. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.